Greetings and welcome to another Tomorrow's World webcast. My name is Wallace Smith. It's great to have you. And North Korea is in the news. They do a very good job of deciding to be in the news every once in a while uh, and succeeding in that goal. We all know they tested something. Uh, they tested some kind of uh, nuclear bomb of some sort, a uh, lot of different stations, seismic registers. Definitely they tested something. But what did they test? North Korea claims they tested a hydrogen bomb uh, and the world is claiming, when I say the world in this case, I mean the United States and China, claiming that it was not a hydrogen bomb, it was probably simply an atomic bomb, or at least not a full hydrogen bomb. Uh, of course, North Korea says it was a hydrogen bomb, and so surely we can trust them, right? Ah, no, we can't. It's North Korea. Uh, propaganda is their way of life. I mean, I'm not speaking against the North Korean people, the poor, oppressed North Korean people, but in terms of leadership, propaganda is what they do. Uh, and it is in their, uh, to their benefit for the world to think they actually have a hydrogen bomb. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about these two different uh, things, a hydrogen bomb versus an atomic bomb. Uh, when perhaps we need to really talk about the difference between those things. Uh, we sometimes call a hydrogen bomb an H-bomb, and sometimes call an atomic bomb an A-bomb. And both of them have to do with atoms, but really what is the difference? What difference would it make if North Korea really did successfully test a hydrogen bomb as opposed to some other kind of bomb? Here's the difference. An atomic weapon like the type that the United States dropped on Hiroshima or Nagasaki is what's called a fission bomb. A fission bomb is when you take a fissile material, you take like uranium or plutonium, and you split the atoms, you cause a chain reaction that splits a lot of atoms, uh, and that releases a vast amount of energy. And thus, we see the destruction that happened in those two cities uh, that were bombed in World War II. A fusion bomb is different. And a hydrogen bomb is of this variety, a fusion bomb. A fusion bomb takes uh, elements like hydrogen and is able to fuse them together, uh, making a new atom out of what was previously smaller atoms, which also releases a lot of energy. Uh, it's rather difficult to accomplish, but the energy yield is gigantic. When we move from creating uh, atomic bombs, uh, fission-based bombs, to fusion bombs, the destructive capacity was vastly increased. And that's why it would make a difference if somehow North Korea has achieved this much more technically difficult uh, fusion bomb, it really would be an increase in their capacity. Uh, actually I actually have a couple of quotes from the news. Uh, CNN did an analysis and I'm reading from their article, January 5th, 2016, titled, North Korea, Does It Really Have an H-Bomb? Now, the question is true or false in this. Did, do they have one or not? They, they mentioned in the article, but there is one other possibility. That is, between an atomic bomb, which uh, China and the United States believe it was not a hydrogen bomb, they, it, it might have been just an atomic bomb or the H-Bomb, they point out there is one other possibility. En route to the development of fusion weapons, some countries develop so-called boosted weapons, which use a small amount of fusion to boost the fission process, causing more large atoms to fission and thus release more energy. Um, in other words, it's like an atomic bomb, but it's been upgraded a bit with a small amount of actual fusion that adds a lot more energy to the reaction. It's not a full fusion bomb, but fusion is a part of the process. And so that could bring some, uh, how do I say, legitimacy to North Korea's claim of a hydrogen bomb that perhaps wasn't really truly fully a hydrogen bomb. I actually have a good quote from uh, vice.com. Not my favorite news source, but every once in a while they do dig up something uh, pretty worthwhile. And they have a quote from Jeffrey Lewis. Uh, it says, Jeffrey Lewis, a top-notch nuke wonk at the Center for Non-Proliferation Studies, told Vice News that a boosted fission weapon is, quote, the most likely scenario, in my view, with a failed thermonuclear test a close second. In other words, it could be they were actually trying to do an H-bomb, and maybe they didn't quite achieve it, and that's why the yield was lower. Uh, he thinks it's more likely that it was one of these mixes where you throw just a touch of fusion in 
with the fission bomb. And that is from Vice.com. Their article was, Yes, North Korea probably tested an H-bomb, just not the kind you're thinking of. That was published on January 6th. In all of this, what should we think of it? Well, it's not like we have any control over all of this. I know what comes to my mind. One is the understanding that uh, nuclear weapons just aren't an 80s concern anymore. I remember growing up in the 80s and the Cold War between the United States and Russia, and I just knew sometimes, man, it's destiny. We're going to have a nuclear war with Russia. It's before I came to understand prophecy, and I'm grateful for programs like this to help me to understand. But it's not like nuclear war went out with big hair in the 80s. It is still a very real concern. And then actually, the second thing that comes to mind is prophecy says destruction on a scale that you can scarcely imagine is a reality. Uh, we have passages like Ezekiel 6.6 6 that says, In all your dwelling places the cities shall be laid waste. Uh, Revelation 9, the sixth trumpet that's de uh, described there, talks about amazing destructive powers being brought to bear in warfare uh, with the king of the north and the hordes uh, to the east. It's just amazing destruction. We still live in such a time. And it's not just a matter of whether we go to war with North Korea. Uh, it's a matter of if they can develop this technology, who might they give it to and who else can? Regardless, it all boils down very well to what Jesus Christ said in Mark 13 and verse 37. He said, what I say to you, I say to all, watch. And we will do our best to help you do that here at tomorrowsworld.org.